Hello everybody! So today I have another trailer park build for you. This one I decided to do in uh, the werewolf's pack. I can't remember the name of the world, sorry. Um, because probably about a week ago I had a thought um, as I was working on my other trailer park build that trailers would be awesome in werewolves and I couldn't get it out of my head so I decided since this was going to be a smaller build and I fell behind when I got sick recording things that I would stop working on my bigger trailer park build and do this one so my thought process with this is it's just a few trailers. It's perfect for like a pack to live in um, or, you know, just a group, however you want to do it. But originally I wanted to use just base game and werewolves. Now, that being said, it didn't happen. I tried so hard in this first trailer here just to use the base game and werewolves and I failed miserably. There just isn't enough building items um, in the werewolves pack that would fit into a trailer. Um, great stuff for uh, like homes, things like that. It still, I think, might be a problem trying to build with both. Uh, I mean, it, you can do it. It just, you know, frustrates the interior designer in me. So that being said, there are multiple packs in this build. However, it still looks cool. <laughs> so I apologize if you're somebody who only owns a few packs. The game should replace anything you don't own when you download this. And if you don't like it, you can replace it yourself. Now, back to this build. Um, what I'm doing with this trailer is I kind of pictured maybe two young werewolves living here they they haven't gotten control of everything yet so it's a little messed up a little roughed up uh, but you know they're they're trying so yeah that's kind of where this is uh, in my mind i pictured two guys i you know i have to put somebody into these builds and for some reason for this trailer park I mostly pictured men um and I, I mean that as usually it's families or you know I'm actually picturing a woman in these uh, this build was a little different for me which is a good thing I I usually don't build for guys and part of that is because you know I'm a woman so right there if you noticed I moved over to this next trailer I think I forgot to hit, you know, uh, record again or something. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, so I moved over to this trailer and I'll show you guys some pictures at the end of what that last bedroom and the other bedroom ended up looking like. So in this uh, trailer, this one is one of my smaller ones. And I was picturing kind of your old... Um, camper trailer that you would travel around with it'd be hooked up to you know a car or a truck and yeah you just kind of travel so that was what I based this off of it's kind of a uh, mix of a couple of trailers that um, either family or friends have owned and that's how I came up with this so it's got the you know raised area in the back where you know the wheels would be um and, you know, anything else that they put under there. I i can't remember what all goes under these. Uh, and, yeah, so I kind of wanted it to be like that. And then they put it, decided they were going to stay here and put it on foundations. So maybe that was when they became werewolves. You know, we, there's lots of little lore behind this one. Uh, and the next one, too, because the next one's very similar. Uh, well, the other thing with this is I pictured like a couple. That's why I'm saying they. 
So maybe an older couple that, you know, traveled around in their retirement and now they're werewolves. So they're, you know, hanging out here. Um, but, you know, move wherever you want. It also will be a great spot for like a bachelor. Um, yeah. So also, by the way, still, still not doing great with the voice, but it's coming along. So I apologize if my words are a little weird. Um. It's kind of hard to talk sometimes still, but I'm trying. Um, lots of, lots of tea, lots of tea today. So anyway, um, I'm still kind of working on this. I really wish base game had more like little coat rack options. Um, I think I like to decorate with them. It makes sense to have coats in almost all of our worlds. So just a rant here okay we need more coat rats please okay i'm done now all right so this trailer again kind of the same thing and maybe it's one you travel around in and then they you know created roots here so this one's set up a little bit differently i wanted i don't know i wanted something different from the last one but i was struggling a little bit as to how to do it in the end, it turns out pretty cute. Uh, but the kitchen does move around just a little bit. And the other thing is this one has a platform, but it's where the doorway is uh, to the bedroom. And that again is kind of channeling uh, trailers that other people I know have owned. So I personally have not owned one. My family didn't own a trailer, so, um, but I had, you know, extended family that did so i did go through and play test you can get into that bed um same with the others no problems with any of that so if you do run into a problem let me know because i will update it but i tested everything out and it all seemed to work pretty well so the other thing with this trailer is i pictured a single man maybe an older man middle-aged man somewhere in there uh who, you know, he just wants to kind of be alone. So he's got this, you know, a little bit of a setup, just him, no frills, and he's happy. So this next trailer, you'll see that I kind of move things around a little bit with this one. And I did it with the other one as well, or the first one as well. Um, it was just, I didn't quite get the size right. I'm still working on figuring out for the single wide exactly how wide they need to be. Um, I think I probably could have made this one one row wider, but I didn't. It, it worked out all right. And you can see here, I'm kind of struggling with where to put the bathroom, how to put the bathroom. Um, I did want to make this a two bathroom home. So this one really is more of your family uh, situation. Nicer trailer. Uh, maybe the pop leader. Um, if that's how you want to play it, the pack leader could be the guy that wants to be left alone. I mean, however you want to do it. Uh, but that was kind of my thought with this trailer. Uh, also struggled with this kitchen a little bit, but I ended up getting it in the end. I think I just moved some things around and changed how it was going a little bit, but it got there. It worked. Um, really it was trying to figure out where to put a table because if I'm trying to build for a family I really am trying to you know create the dining area and all of that it doesn't have to be anything fancy but you know just an area to sit and eat do homework things like that and I think uh, I think I pulled it off pretty well um, I did use some of the tiny living stuff um, because it works and it helped, you know, keep things a little bit more spaced out. So again, lots of packs in this one. I apologize, but I don't. I, it is what it is. Um, I will be doing more base game builds here soon. Um, and probably some more specific like for rent base game other, you know, pack builds. And that's mostly trying to get you know, a few of these packs done that, you know, if somebody who's new, they bought for rent 
and they own like two other packs. So that's kind of where I'm aiming. So in the comments below, let me know what packs you own. Um, I may do a poll actually too. So check out the community tab if um, and see if I put one up. I'm pretty sure I'm thinking I'm going to now that I've come up with the idea. So it should be there. It might have been there a few days already because I may put this up after I'm done recording this. So yeah, I want to know what packs you guys own. That'll help me decide what, what to do, what builds to do, things like that. So anyway, here just kind of, you know, getting the bathrooms done, putting in different things. I am obsessed with putting these little caddies in the showers and bathtub areas. I think it just finishes off, it off and makes it look like it's a lived in home. Um, the other thing with this is I, I really, really wanted to kind of create a cozy look to this bedroom, um, but still keep it so it's not too fancy. Because again, yes, this is the family, but we're going to say, you know, they're, they're a working class family. That's my thought process on this. And I think I pulled that off pretty well. And yeah, so I'm fairly happy with the finished product of this build. Um, I will say, as I'm putting those curtains up, I end up shrinking those down so they look better. I do it after the build's done because I forgot to go back and do it when I was building. So if you notice that, they've been shrunken down. They still work. They look really good. They look a lot better than they did before. Um, it was when I was taking pictures uh, that I realized I didn't shrink those down because they were hanging out of the ceiling. So, yeah. All right, so here I decided I wanted to put two kids in here I pictured two boys um but it really works for either sex or both or however you want to do it but there's two kids in here and so the bunk beds and I really struggled with this one because I wanted a desk and a dresser and it just wasn't working with me so I used these little cube things put in a desk and finally got it kind of working with me and then i was like well what to put in this corner so i put the little scout thing because that makes sense right they're na probably nature lovers we're, we're gonna go with that you have to have somebody to build for and then just added that cute little rug so now i'm just kind of going through adding in a few little you know detail things to the the build here I wanted something in that corner and decided the Home Chef Hustle shelves work good there. And just kind of cluttering it up a little bit and making it look more lived in and like a family lives here. So, again, you know, lots of packs. Sorry, but it it's great. I, I, I like how this looks. And I will, like I said, do more builds that are... Maybe, maybe I'll do some trailers that are just base game for you guys, too. I think one of my builds is similar to that. So, And this one, I actually furnished all of the trailers. So, you're welcome. Because <laughs> I know I haven't been doing that. Um, but that's for a reason. That's so that you guys can go in and, you know, have some say in what goes into the, the build. Um, I am thinking about uploading some of these trailers as like rooms so that you could add them into any trailer park so like this one would be a good one because it's not very focused on werewolves there's no like scratch marks or any of that so i might upload this one as a room so you could add it to any of the trailer parks i build um or you build um i do also have just a, sh a trailer shell uh on the gallery as well and you can use that that kind of gives you an idea of what a trailer should you know size wise be so yeah i hope you guys check that out let me know if you do and if you uh build with that i would love to see it so you can tag me i'm on instagram and uh threads so you can definitely check me out there building sims yt is what that is so and it is linked below. 
So here, I just wanted to create kind of a rustic, um, you know, community space where they can all get together and hang out. Um, little garden area, grill, eating area, that type of thing. So, you know, kind of basic, but I think it fits this pack well. Um, also did a bunch of landscaping in here and you'll notice like the trailers aren't sitting up right now That is because I was waiting to do my landscaping So I do move them so they're up and you know off the ground later on and I think I'm gonna try to start building the trailer parks this way more often Because it works. I'd not spend as much time playing with landscaping uh, for this build as I usually do. So I may be doing that more often. So be prepared. Um, yeah, other than that, just kind of like I said, throwing in landscaping. Um, I went through debug, found some more for the werewolf's pack that I didn't see earlier. So you'll see me adding some of that in as well. I'm just kind of creating some cute spaces. There is a um, telescope in the back there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, just thought it was something fun. I mean, we got it with the Werewolf's Pack, so might as well add it in, right? And it's it's an extra thing to do. And yeah, so landscaping-wise, I do go through and change a little bit uh, here and there as I find different things for the pack. But, yeah, I think mostly it stays similar to this. Uh, the other thing is I always intended the two nicer trailers, permanent trailers. I don't know how you want to think of them, um, to have decks. These, this one and the other that were supposed to be more mobile, um, I really wanted to put just stairs right up against them. Unfortunately, it wouldn't work with the door, so I had to put a little bit of a deck area onto those. Um, but you can see it's really small, so it's really supposed to kind of look like the stairs, you know, came right down like they do in those type of trailers, but I couldn't pull it off. I tried. Okay. Um, I didn't try very hard, I'm going to be honest, but... I finished this build up actually about three hours before recording this, so I uh, kind of was in a, a hurry to get this done, but it still works. And just adding a little bit of lighting. Now that's one thing, I only put very limited lighting in this um, during the building process. I, uh, before uploading, I will, or have as of this recording, <laughs> gone through and just add a little, little bit more. I didn't want a whole lot of light, but I need a little, little bit, right? So they can kind of see. Um, so yeah, so that'll be added. And I also added this swing set because, you know, I did picture a couple of kids living here. All right, so that's the end of the build. Let's take a look at what it all looks like. enjoyed this build. I had so much fun doing this one. Um, I didn't build a lot for the werewolves uh, when the werewolves pack came out. Um, I might go back and do some more builds for this one. It's it's kind of fun to play with. Alright, again, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe because I have more builds coming for you guys, especially another trailer park. Maybe by next week, but it might be the week after. Alright, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye now.